I've got in my hands is an Android hand scanner running Warehouse Plus. Uh, Warehouse Plus is a mobile application for Nimworks, which you can use to manage purchase orders, manage stock, and manage customer orders away from your Nimworks PC on your smartphone. So this device here, it's a very rugged device, very robust, very tough. If I try and drop it from about 1.5 meters, it's very likely to resist the impact and it will be very sturdy. The finger grips here are very comfortable. So it's easy on the fingers, easy in your hands. And the trigger button just above the fingertips here is very responsive to the laser scanner, which is just above the finger trigger here. The specs are very good. It's running Android 5.1 and it has two gigabytes of RAM which means there's plenty of power and plenty of speeds for your scanning needs so it's unlikely to have any lagging delays or it's unlikely to have any kind of slowdowns when you're scanning and any kind of interruptions when you're going through your tasks using this device and what I want to do right now is I just want to show you how this would work with Warehouse Plus so this is what we have. So what you have is check product availability, stock, product, you have orders, you have purchase order, and you have two other categories which are coming soon. So we're just going to have a look at check product availability. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a stock inquiry with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan in a product with this, just so you can see how fast this device is. It's very, very fast in terms of laser scanning. It's very, very responsive. So I'm just going to scan the device here. And as you can see, that the entry is, hasn't taken too much time to load up. And I'm just going to do this now with another item. And as you can see, this item has also appeared as well. No crashing no lagging, it just goes straight to the point. Now what I want to do is, I want to show you stock module, so stock in, if you want to book in stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan this item in using this device. And what you can see is that on the bottom I have the option to update the quantity, so I'm just going to type in 14. And then hit update. Are you sure? Yes, okay. And that's been done. It's giving me a screen saying this has been done. And I'm going to do the same thing with another item. So I'm just, I'm just going to scan this in. Twelve. This time. Update. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. This has been updated. And I'm going to do a stock adjustment with this device as well. So you can see how fast the scanning is and how accurate and agile it is. So I'm just going to scan in another product. So I'm going to scan this in. Stock adjustment. And what it has done, it's brought up the item I've scanned in. So the current level is... 24, but I have the option to update it to a different quantity. So I'm going to scan this in, let's say, 10 times. And this is going to be an opportunity for you to see how quickly this responds. So I'm just going to scan it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as you can see now, I have the option to update the current level from 24 to 10. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to press update. And that's been done. And I'm going to do the same thing with another item. So I'm just going to scan this in. As you can see, it's picked up the item almost immediately. And the current level is 36. I'm going to change the level to 15. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is very, very fast. And it's picked up the barcode very, very quickly. No problems, no lagging, no crashing, no delays. So I'm just going to hit update. And that's been done. Okay. And what I want to show you now is purchase orders. So a dynamic PO is when I want to create purchase orders on the fly. So I'm just going to scan in this product. 
and what's happened is it's sh shown me the product and I have the option to update the quantity so I can scan in the product quantity or I can type it in so I'm going to scan it in Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so I've adjusted it to 10 um, in terms of that's how many I want to order that's the quantity I want to order and if I'm happy with that I can just press done so I'm going to show you this with another product I've got this product here I'm going to scan this in it's brought up the product and I can adjust the quantity using the physical touch screen but I'm going to scan this in in this instance so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten very quick so you can see that this scans in the item very very quickly and I can press done if I'm happy with that and I'm going to move on to purchase order so I want to scan an item using the purchase order module the original one this is what you would have to do so I'm just going to go to search and it's giving me the option to search my product I can do this using the product name SKU or in this case the barcode scanner so I'm going to scan in the product it's brought up the barcode already and I'm going to press update and if I'm happy with that I would get an update on the amount of quantity I want to order and then I'll be able to update and I'll be able to order sorry so I'm going to do this with another product so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit search and I'm going to search the product using the barcode scanner it's brought up the barcode I'm going to press search and I can just tap in my entry to update the quantity if I want to adjust it so I'm going to scan it again instead of typing it in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so I've got 15 this time so I've placed an order for 15 quantity this time if I'm happy with that I can go ahead with the order so that's the Android hand scanner running Warehouse Plus. So as you can see, it's very responsive, very quick, very agile. And there's been no issues, no delays, no crashing. And it's a very good device. The display is nice and big, which makes it useful. It's firmly still in its place after I've scanned it. The trigger button still works great. It's nice and easy to, to handle, to hold. And yeah. I think this is a great it's great for using in a warehouse and it's this is going to make warehouse activities so much easier. So there you have it.